for statistical symbols, the question is, should I use the symbol or should I put the English word inside of the text? And of course, every area of research has their own symbols that they often use in statistics, although we have a lot that are in common. So here's a rule of thumb that the APA suggests, and that is inside the text, you should use the word and not the symbol. So for example, if I were to say something like, the means were, I should use the word means here, multiple means. I would not say the M's, which is shorthand, M's, M's for means, M for mean, M's for means. So the correct way would be to say the English word rather than use the symbol. Of course, another symbol you may use is the X bar mean. And again, we would not be wanting to use that inside of the content of our body, of our text. Some statistics are represented by italicized Latin letters, so you need to pay attention to that. And in the APA manual, they have a guideline for all of those. So the T for the T test, the F for the F test, rather than the straight letters like this, you use the italicized letters, which is the angled letters like that, right? So that is correct. The regular straight is wrong. Straight is wrong, italicized is correct. Number of subjects uses an uppercase, such as the N. So this is the number of subjects in your study, and that would use the capital N. And again, pay attention there. The N is italicized. That is at an angle. So for example, N, the number, in our, uh, the number of subjects in our test is 135. Also, you have a group membership, which would be a subgroup, a subsample. And for that subsample or group, you used a small n. So big N is the overall sample. Small n is the subgroup sample. And again, pay attention to that n. It's a small n, but it's italicized n. It's a little bit annoying to think about which times to use this, but in general, I think a rule of thumb is to just to say that when you have the letter or the symbol by itself, then you're going to be italicizing it. Now, there are exceptions in this case, and you can check the APA manual. They have like three or four pages of details for this. A little bit too tedious for today, but in general, a general rule of thumb is to go that way. Italicize it when it's standing on its own. So here is the N equals 30. What about percent symbol? Well, you should go ahead and use the symbol when it's preceded by a number. So for example here, 18% of the rats. So this is the percentage sign here. And before the percentage sign, we have a number, 18. So because you have a number, you go ahead and use the percentage sign. But when you don't have a number, you need to use the word. So for example here, we say the percent change is important. Obviously this percent has no number before it, so we spell out the word percent. Table headings and figure legends also use a percent symbol, so when you're doing something like a table, then you go ahead and you can use the percent symbol rather than writing it out.